How do you do, fella kids? It is the professional Hadilweed here. And welcome back to another video. And today, I'm taking out the 2020 Polaris Slingshot. But this video wouldn't be possible without Freedom Power Sports up here in Canton, Georgia. They are your go-to dealership for just about anything. They have some really nice people and a really nice inventory, including this here slingshot. They've got a bunch of them, uh, but this is the only 2020 they have so far. So if you guys are in the area, or if you're not, be sure you come check them out. <laughs> and be sure to tell them I sent you. So for 2020, they have a nice little facelift. It looks really nice. Like, so I'm gonna walk over here to the old one, which actually looks really kind of outdated now. <laughs> I really like the new LED setup. Uh, the ones on the side are actually running lights, and your main headlight is this one here in the middle. Unlike the outgoing model year, Polaris actually used their own engine in this. Uh, in the older model year, they actually used a Chevy Ecotec. <laughs> and with this, they have a two-liter uh, four-cylinder Prostar engine that Polaris developed themselves. And with that new engine, you get some more power. <laughs> you have 203 horsepower, unlike this one that has 173 so you do have a nice little uh, boost of power but it is actually limited and I'm, but <laughs> i am sure there's going to be people to sell kits and whatnot to push this well beyond its limits do i recommend that i don't know do do you want to keep your warranty <laughs> i did do a video on the outgoing model year and i will say they are a blast to drive and they're just so much fun but this one's an automatic. That's right, so uh, for the 2020 model year, you can get them in automatic, uh, in case if you don't know how to drive a manual, or if you plan on driving it a lot, like in the city or traffic, then a manual's no fun. But this has a automated manual, so <laughs> it does all the clutch work for you. All right, without further ado, let's hop in this thing oh billy i tried to do that as graceful as i could and with this new one it's just a push button start there was a push button start in the old one but here you actually have a key fob um not entirely sure what the lock and unlock do so you can lock your non-existent doors but <laughs> this is what this looks like and the outgoing model year was uh, just a key. <laughs> and to start it up, you put your foot on the brake and it plays you a nice little movie. <laughs> Press that. And there you go. And your seatbelt is actually to the right of you because reasons. Let's see if I can find this. My helmet's in the way. Where the hell are, there it is. Don't judge me. All right. So right now it's in neutral. You take the parking brake off, you slap it and drive, and just like that, you are good to go. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my gloves. Do I wear them? I, I, I don't think so. I mean, it's there. <laughs> All right, let's get going. And the streets are nice and open. Huh. First impressions of just that regular acceleration to get up to speed. 
I mean, I could almost feel like I could shift quicker than that. I should probably adjust my mirrors. Yeah, that's kind of weird, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh man, I can't see out of that mirror at all. Anyone over there? <laughs> and then you can hear it downshifting and whatnot. And actually, here in the state of Georgia, this is classified as an auto cycle. I don't know about anywhere else. And um, you don't have to wear a helmet. And, well, since there's that rule in place, pretty much almost nobody does. Because you got this windscreen here. You've got these roll bars. So no one feels, like, <laughs> obligated to wear a helmet, I guess. If anything, and driving this almost just feels like you're driving a doorless Miata. That's going to get you a lot more attention. It broke that guy's neck. The steering wheel and the new one, you, obviously it has buttons on it, unlike the old one. You've got buttons for cruise control and all that other stuff. You know, soundtracks and all that, but I'm not about to play any music to, um, you know, get copyrighted. Because that's what happened last time. <laughs> and the only thing is what on like really hot summer days um <laughs> the sun's beating in on you and especially if you're sitting in traffic it's just not a fun time hey girl what's up dude he's just like look at this douchebag in this thing i swear i'm not it's not mine and starting out like it does roll back <laughs> like it's a manual because it still has an internal clutch and whatnot. Because if you start to press the gas and it's not going and then you panic and press it even more, then like the back wheel will spin and trust me, it will spin. All right, should we do a quick little acceleration run? I don't see why not. Let's take this into Mexico right quick. There's a Prius. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Like, uh, the downshift was mediocre, to say the least. I really would have liked to see one of these with, like, paddle shifters, but that's not quite a thing yet. Polaris, if you're watching this, which you're not, include power shift. Ah, include paddle shifters. Thanks, Hyundai. I really needed that. Did you guys hear that shift? That was uh, kind of gross, not gonna lie. Come on, minivan, get out of my way. My front end looks angry. I, I know that <laughs> this probably looks almost menacing in a rear view mirror. Maybe? M maybe not. Now I have to check this blind spot of mine again. <laughs> that is fun though, I'm not gonna lie there. But the thing is, driving around in this, you feel cool. But whenever you see someone else in it, you're just like, oh, look at that guy. <laughs> if you're okay with being that, that, that guy, then 100% get one of these. <laughs> Man, I still feel like I need to be like, ah, downshift. But no. And then you come to a stoplight, and then you can just feel the eyeballs of people judging you. Which I'm okay with, because I'm quite used to that. <laughs> you see how it rolls back a little bit? It's, it could be a little sketchy if you're not used to it. Yeah, the, the only drawback to the automatic is that the shifts, they're weird. But I guess uh, it's just one thing that you don't have to worry about is is shifting and all that mess. What's this button do? But <laughs> me bashing this aside, like the whole manual or automatic thing, I'm actually enjoying myself just driving this around. One thing I've realized is, like say if you see a pothole and you go to like dodge it and like make it go under the car or whatever, you're still gonna hit it because you still only just have one tire in the back and you're like, oh yeah, that's a thing. There's a motorcycle right here. Am I gonna get a wave? I don't know. Hello. 
Yes, I do. Haha, -ha, I'm worthy of the wave. <laughs> and someone just honked. Does that mean I'm cool? Or does that mean I I'm not cool? And then to put it in reverse, you just click the little button and then you get a actually a really nice um, rear view camera thing. So then you can see if you're about to hit your, um, your, your Z125. <laughs> and then to park, you go into neutral and you pull up this thing. That's right, I, I, I hold in the button when I pull up because I don't like to hear the clicky click things. <laughs> and to turn it off, it's quite simple. Button. Simple enough. <laughs> All right, and then to get out, you have to look as graceful as you can, or should I say as cool as you want to. And, um, <laughs> and yeah, that's it. Overall, though, I did enjoy the way that this thing drives. It's, it's an agile, <laughs> it's a quick little toy. And yes, I called it a toy because this isn't really a real means of transportation, like, you know, to and from work you can if you want to but you don't want this to be your only thing. So with all that being said, I still do enjoy the Polaris slingshot, but the automatic, it's not for me. <laughs> so that is where I'm gonna start wrapping up today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure you show some support by dropping a like. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. And most importantly, be sure you hit uh, that booty. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.